Hi again, everybody. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. Today, I want to talk about an issue that affects these four older watches that I have, and maybe you have a watch that's affected by this same issue. It's the issue of trying to set the date on these when uh, the watch is not programmed to go beyond a certain year. So let's take a look at this one in particular. So if I go into the setting mode on this, I'll demonstrate the problem for you. Okay, there I can set the, you know, hours, minutes, and seconds. And here I can set 24 or 12 hour display. But this is where I set the year, the month, and the day of the month. And the year is 2021. Okay, so uh, that's how the watch has figured out that the day of the week is Thursday. There's no place where I manually set the day of the week. I just set the correct date and uh, year. And then the watch knows that today is a Thursday. But the trouble is... Okay, uh, next year will be the year 2022, as you can see right there. And the following year, oh wait, it went back to 1982. So the pre-programmed calendar in this watch does not go beyond the year 2022. And if, uh, you know, if I just let it run normally at, at midnight after, you know, at the end of the day for December 31st, 2022, it will just revert back to January 1st, 1982. And so you're saying, well, okay, so does that mean this watch cannot be used at all after the year 2022? Uh, no, no, not necessarily. I mean, the watch still runs, and at the rate it's going, I'm sure it will still run for, uh, you know, over a year and a half, because I'm about a year and a half away from the year 2023 as I'm recording this. So there's a simple trick you can do with this or any other watch that is set up this way, all you have to do is subtract 28 years from the current year and everything lines back up again. And with this watch, uh, the only time you see the year is when you're in this setting screen. So let's just see how this works on this watch. This is also from the 1980s, this Casio watch. And right there you see uh, June 10th, 2021. Now, if I were to scroll ahead a few years here, okay, it will go beyond 2022, get up to 2029 there. But then... The next one is 1985. So once again, <laughs> this one will take you to the end of 2029 and then reset to 1985. This watch here, let's see how far it goes. Uh, 2021, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 2029. And then it reverts back to 1990 and starts over again. And this watch here, if I go into the setup screen, you'll see that it's showing the year 2021. I can scroll ahead on this. It'll take it, uh, okay, takes it into the year 2030, 2035, get up to 2039. And then if I continue, it takes me back to 1995 to start over again. So this watch will uh, go a little bit longer, still using the correct uh, year. But once I get <laughs> into the year 2040 and beyond, I'll have to do the subtract 28 years trick in order to keep this uh, lined up right with the current day of the week for the proper year. So let me just uh, take it back to where it should be. Okay. So the solution to this problem involves the calendar. So let's just take a quick look at the calendar here and uh, examine the phenomenon. Uh, the year 2021, first day of the year, January 1st, was a Friday. But then next year, uh, it'll be a Saturday. And the year after that, it will be a Sunday. So it advances, you know, one, one day per year. In 2024, it's a Monday. But then, oh, wait, look, 2025, it skipped all the way to Wednesday. And why is that? It's because 2024 will be a leap year. And that adds uh, one additional day. So uh, as you know, and you know, you, you, you know this, <laughs> your birthday is not the same day of the week every year. Um, and, and that's because of this phenomenon. Uh, every year we add a day, except when it's affected by leap year, it's two days. And so that's why, just, just do the math here, and you'll see that if you were to add or subtract 28 years from the current year, and go look at the calendar, all the days will line up exactly, including if there's a leap year that year, uh, that will also be included if you adjust the calendar by just 28 years. Okay, so all of these watches I'm showing you have the ability to uh, to go back 28 years. So if I look at this one here and I say, okay, uh, instead of the year 2021, let's change it to the year 1993. Okay, and then I'll 
Look at that. And again, it knows that that is a Thursday, just like it is here in the year 2021. And as this advances to the year after that and the year after that, and even if there's a leap year involved there, it will continue to show the proper day of the week and the proper date here on this main screen. And once again, you will only see the year if you're looking at this setup screen. So that's one way to keep your vintage watch going, even if you've reached a time when it can no longer show you the current year, just adjust it by 28 years. And you know what, it, it works, uh, you can double that. <laughs> if this watch uh, were to last even longer, I could subtract 56 years from the current year and it would still work. Leap year is an interesting uh, concept. You know, the reason we have to do that is the as the Earth orbits around the sun, it takes 365 days to complete one orbit. But it's not exactly 365. It's a little bit longer. So that's why every four years we add an, ex an extra day to uh, keep our seasons aligned with our calendar. So, I mean, it turns out if we didn't add leap year every four years, then after, say, 400 years, then our calendar would be off by 100 days. So the first day of spring would be off by 100 days, uh, <laughs> according to the way we, we keep track of it now. So you don't want that to happen. Uh, except it's, again, not exactly 365 and one quarter days. It's a little bit less than that. So every 400 years, we don't have uh, a leap year. Uh, and those are the years that... Um, you know, the first year, like uh, like the year 1700, 1800, 1900, those were not leap years, but the year 2000 was a leap year. And now the year 2100 will not be a leap year. So if you're around at that time, you're going to have a leap year in the year 2096, uh, and then not another one for, for eight years until the year 2104. So that will be an interesting phenomenon for some of you that will be around to witness that don't know that I will. But so this is why the 28 year trick works, even though we had a turn of the century within that span, the year 2000 was a leap year. And that's why it all lines up. So there you go. If you're buying a watch today that has the, the calendar built in there where it figures out the day of the week for you, uh, that'll probably mo most of the ones sold now will take you all the way through the year 2099. And then you'll have an issue. But with these, since these are from the 80s and the 90s, you know, that issue comes up a little bit earlier. But if you have a watch that is affected by this issue and you're just about to reach the point where you think the watch won't work anymore because of the year issue, again, just subtract 28 years and you'll be on your way. So right now, the year 2021 matches perfectly with the year 1993. And then 1994 will, will coincide with uh, the dates in 2022. <laughs> When we get to 2023, you can set your watch to 1995 and it'll be just fine. Uh, 2024, go to 1996. And so, so since 1996 and 2024 are both leap years, that all lines up, it's all, it's going to be just fine. All right, so that's just a little tip so you can keep your vintage watch going. Uh, just uh, keep them clean, keep them nice, put a, put a fresh battery in there every few years, and these watches are going to keep going and going and going. That'll be nice. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for joining me, and I'll have another episode very soon of The Good Timekeeping Show.